Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory Years. Back on good old Satisfactory, ready for another day, back on a modded playthrough. And if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager. So you can download and install mods for yourself, yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just, uh, just before we get too far into the video, just a real quick note, um, there is something, uh, going to be else, another kind of link, if you will, um, in the description section that is, uh, a really good friend of mine. We have played with, um, her and her husband before on the channel on, uh, Phasmophobia, uh, a few times. So she has been on the channel before. Um, they have run into an extremely extremely rough patch for their uh, uh, for their financial situation they they've had car troubles they've had all kinds of just you know little bits trying to kind of chipping away over time and now they're in some serious trouble they don't you know, they don't even have electricity currently um, and not to laugh as in I'm not laughing at them you know just a, like holy crap you know that's how serious that's how serious this is uh, so, if uh, you are feeling generous and you would like to help them out, there is a link in the description below to their uh, GoFundMe page. Uh, they're just asking for a little bit of help for the month, um, just to kind of get them through. Because uh, they've hit a really bad rough patch lately, so... Uh, if you do feel like helping them out, uh, like I said, the link is down in the description The GoFundMe. It's, it's all by itself. It's in its own little... Um, it's a, it's in its own spot, so you'll definitely know, uh, by looking at the description, you'll definitely see it there, all by itself. So, yeah, if you're feeling generous about that, uh, go ahead and do that, and, um, I'm sure, uh, she would be very thankful for that. Uh, but anyway, um, on to our, um, on to our build here, that we were working on last time. That's what I'm looking for, I think. Is that what I'm looking for? Yeah, we were doing the, um, kind of the spiral, uh, uh, kind of the spiral train. Oh, and by the way, that link is going to the description for the rest of the month, so. Um, and I'll probably mention it in pretty much every video. Um, just a brief little mention. So, uh, just so you know what you're getting into. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and, and I thickened out the, uh, center of this, uh, kind of in between episodes, and I added that little extra, um, foundation bit on the end like I said I was going to do uh, I did thin this out I got rid of all of that uh, I put a we put a box over there last time I had to fill it with some more stuff uh, the train is over there um, so this is kind of the intersection we're going with um, I also wanted a way for the train to be able to possibly turn around uh, without having to go all the way up into the city and back so at the train station here there is a little uh, there's a little curve over there that will uh, definitely help out um, oh, as well as I do also apologize for the lateness of the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, what should I think of it? Uh oh, <laughs> here comes the auto save. No. Yeah, the lateness of the, uh, the Planet Coaster series. Uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been an exhausting week, uh, for a lot of us, so. Trying to get stuff done during the summertime while it's while it's nice out, even though it's extremely hot. Uh, we're getting it. Uh, we're in our hottest month of the year with this getting up into the hundreds. Oop! Just want to remove those two. So yeah, it definitely does. Uh, definitely starting to feel it. It's very draining. Oh, and, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I covered it. Okay. Just making sure I covered the uh, Planet Coaster situation. <laughs> that one's going to be late. I I'm going to get caught up today, though. So, um, I'm some. going to have some extra time to get caught up on the series. Uh, for Friday, at least. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, the... Uh, I wonder how fast the train is going to go down there. It's going to be crazy. Uh, hopefully I am removing those as well. 
as I hop up here. If I miss that jump, by the way, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so dead. Especially the higher up we go. I mean, I'll survive it, of course, but still. <laughs> insane. Yeah, I like that. Hey, it landed on the next one down. That's good. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the only issue. I can't really... It's like I, can't, I guess I don't run, just... Eh. Something like that. It's gonna be a long spiral, though. We're gonna get this done today, or at least, at least we'll get the we'll get the the, the track up there. Should be good. That. Put that there. One of the tallest spirals. I mean, look how look how many spirals we still have left left to build. Very insane spiral, but it'll um, it'll definitely uh, <laughs> get the track down. Here. It's a little bit ridiculous of a structure. Um, I was trying to think, would it be even possible to build a structure like this and be this tall as well as as well as? Uh, Plus, you know, be able to have like trains on it, make these kind of curves. The brakes on the train would have to be insane, though. Like they would probably have to, they barely have to build like flat spots in it to, to help slow the train down, because the amount of weight, insane. Just keep going round and round and round. <laughs> At least this wasn't like last episode where I was, uh, where I was drinking me some, uh, drinking me some Kool-Aid and uh, starting to get, uh, starting to get a little bit dizzy as I was uh, going round and round placing the ramps. That was, uh, was pretty insane. Now you see, I missed that. At least there's. A possibility of me landing on something below and not just tumbling all the way down. Just hoping I have enough um, materials to go all the way up here. Because once we get it up to the top, there's almost uh, there's almost nothing there. There's like almost no space there to, to stop us from finishing connecting this and. Then we'll get power to the miners, as well as get power to the other train tracks as well. Still would like them to be able to have those powered signals. I mean, oh, there was a there was an update to the to the container screens as well. Um, we're gonna have to show that off too. I, I don't know if we can. Can we even do those? Organization. Yeah, here we go. Info screen. Invalid placement. Oh, you have to place it on. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, how does this work? By the way. Oh, it just doesn't. None. <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> okay. So you have to place it on something. Um, and that will give you an idea. But yeah, there's this uh, yep, new info screen. Um, that uh, shows uh, the stuff you put on it, I believe. Hey, 777. Very nice. There you go. Buy a lottery ticket. Uh, yeah. What else did I do? I don't think that was it. And we're not going to go to there. I'm going to delete all that. Get that back to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> and I can't wait to get aluminum because then we can get our uh, we can get our hover pack. Uh, and then this kind this kind of stuff. Isn't no big deal as long as we're close. It's like yes, I could use the jetpack, but I've, as I've stated before, the jetpack is ah. Ooh, I'm glad we can land on tracks below. The jetpack is extremely dangerous because you can only you can only do so much flight before you have to recharge the, the 
pack, which, honestly, in my opinion, wouldn't make much sense. You would just keep going until you run out of fuel, but... Uh, I, whatever. Like, I'd rather have it that way than the current way it is, where uh, you have to... You can only do a little bit of flight, and then you have to land on something solid in order for it to recharge. Just, to me, that makes no that makes no sense, and it's an extremely limiting thing. Uh, maybe they could maybe they could unlimit it to, or maybe they could make it a way where, you know, uh, where it just burns the fuel. Like like you have two inventories for the jetpack. You have the reserve fuel, and then you have the the fuel in the tanks themselves, and you got to land to recharge them. Which I guess is the idea, but maybe I don't know. Maybe it's too limiting in my opinion, is extremely limiting. <laughs> like, the hover pack, you can just hover forever as long as you have electricity nearby, which is its balance, but... Uh, yeah, the... The jet pack just... I've killed myself more times than... Uh, more times than I can count with the jet pack. And that's why I've just went, nope. It, it's not... It's, it, it is a skill issue, by the way. It's not, it's not, the, it's not particularly the jet pack's fault for me dying. It just, I think it's extremely limiting, and it should be, there should be, you know, more allowed with it, but um, definitely was a, uh, definitely was a skill issue with me. Um, I'm not always able to, my brain is not, doesn't allow me to always uh, be able to, uh, uh, to whatchamacallit, to uh, focus on the entire bar as well as go around, or as well as focus on the things around me. I get very easily distracted, and, and then I'm just like, oh, I'm falling, <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> At least now you can, uh, as long as you have a full health bar. I guess the jetpack would not be as bad now, um, with the uh, whole health bar thing. Uh, being able to fall from any height, and as long as your health bar is full, you'll survive the fall. Which is awesome. But they're also, um, which the jetpack's uh, downsides might be, uh, might be kind of mitigated. A lot uh, with this new update. Uh, update eight is going to feature the ability. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, just in case, uh, is going to feature the ability to be able to turn off what you or be able to change what you lose when you die, as well as turn it off entirely. That's what I was going to say, but yeah. you know how it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be able to um, like uh, kind of like um, old Minecraft. Uh, mods before they had the creative mode thing um, and the commands and whatnot um, where you could have it to where you only lose your you only lose your hot bar or or uh, you only lose your you, lo you lose your inventory but you still keep your hot bar and your equipment and stuff like that or you know whatever have you they're going to be able to have those type we're going to be able to have those type of options as well as they are uh, finally introducing creative mode which I think for any building game, that is a building game where uh, that is a survival building game. Uh, any of those games should have creative mode, just full stop. Just a mode that you can go into. You don't necessarily need to be able to change it while you're already in the game, but to be able to create a creative game where you can just fly around, you can place whatever you want with no cost, stuff like that. It just always is needed. I know that uh, that uh, Coffee Stain has talked about it a lot, where they're just like, yeah, we just we just don't feel like creative mode needs to be a thing because we want, you know, the the way we want people to experience Satisfactory is the way we want them to experience it, which is the best, uh, the best way. But it's like I get that, but uh, also there are people out there who just want to build. That, that's all they want to do. They just want to play around with the game, and I have done that with a few survival building games before. Um, was the, my very first experience on them was creative mode. Um, and that was just to get used to the game. Uh, that was just to get to used to how things worked. Um, I don't do that anymore because I'm, I'm able to adapt now. Um, because, you know, it's many years later, I'm a little bit better at video games. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say I'm amazing at video games, but I'm definitely a, a little bit better than I was, you know, say, ten years ago. <laughs> Especially because... Uh, ten years ago, I was still on console, and I had just gotten my 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 PC, which actually is this PC, by the way. <laughs> I bought this PC ten years ago. Don't know why I'm talking about it. But... Yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of the parts in this PC have been changed out. Um, there's only a few that are left that are still the original parts. Um, and an oatmeal chunk stuck in my throat there. It's uh, trying to get me to cough it out. <laughs> I was just like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Um, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, my PC. So the the only original parts that are still in this PC today that were in it when I bought it. Um, um, basically, I picked all the parts out and then and then built the PC essentially. Um, was uh, my Toshiba hard drive, my uh, one terabyte, seventy two hundred RPM Toshiba hard drive. <laughs> Uh, it is a um, SATA 6, um, and it is still working today. It's probably the one that's causing my PC to be slow. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense. It, it's not Toshiba's fault. The hard drive is 10 years old. <laughs> and I think it says uh, 2012 on it as well, which I bought the, I bought the, I bought that stuff in 2013. So, you know. If that's the case. <laughs> uh, actually, no, it says 2011 on it. Yeah, 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 there we go. That's right, 2011. I think this one it was manufactured. So it sat in a warehouse for a couple of years before I, I got my hands on it. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely was, uh, definitely is an old PC. That and the motherboard. The motherboard is... Uh, uh, the MSL, uh, the MSI um, Crate Edition, uh, whatever the heck, I don't remember it. Like Z20, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to look. <laughs> um, yeah, and that motherboard, I bought it. It was brand new. <laughs> it was brand new in in 2013. <laughs> Actually, I don't I don't know what year it was manufactured. But. Yeah, that's the original. Everything else has been changed out. The power supply has been changed out because the power supply failed on mine. I cheaped out on the power supply because it was my first computer, so I did not know uh, that you should not ever cheap out on the power supply. Always go, always put as much money as you can into the power supply because if if, if a power supply is cheap, uh, it's a cheap you know piece of crap power supply, um, and it fails, it might not have protections in place for it to not fry the rest of your components when it decides to go boom. Because power supplies, I, I've seen a few fail. Mine was very, very lucky because it was it was just kind of failing. It wasn't supplying enough power to parts. Um, it didn't it didn't go out in a catastrophe. Luckily, it just uh, the PC stopped powering on. Was the only thing. Like I turned it off. I turned it off that night, and then I got up in the morning, went to power it on, and it would, uh, it would, the the light would come on as if it's powering up, and the fan would start spinning on it, and then it would just turn off, and then turn back on, and then turn off, and it just do that, no matter how many times I tried. It was it had done that a few times before, but recovered from it every time. Um, but yeah, that was a power supply failure. Just wasn't supplying enough power, and then yep, get it. Got myself an EVGA power supply with the 80 plus rating, it has the protections on it, and all that, all that goodness, um, and that's what I've been running with since. No problem so far, and that was that was in 20, 2019, I think. Something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember a lot. <laughs> But uh, that's been changed out. Uh, it also has had a second hard drive added to it, uh, which is another uh, hard drive. It was a HD HD blue. Is it? Is it blue or black? Uh, no, I don't remember. I think it's blue. It's either blue or black. It's only two. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. I've been deleting these all the way to the bottom. It looks like good. Okay. I was getting worried about that. But, uh, yeah. And I added a hard drive so that it could be my game drive so that I could, uh, you know, play games without Windows 10 interference. Because once I upgraded to Windows 10, I started having so many troubles with video games. 
um, because Windows 10 takes up a lot more uh, as far as resources go than Windows 7 did. Um, and it just, uh, Windows 10 was just like, oh, as soon as Windows 10 goes to do something, you know, it, the, the game would pretty much freeze. <laughs> <laughs> pre uh, freeze or slow down and I'd look at it and the disc was at 100% activity and it would last for minutes and then eventually it would finally give the resources back to the games even if I prioritized them uh, prioritize the games on the disc for resources it would still not let me Windows 10 would not let them have it <laughs> it's like no I'm more important I'm the OS I do what I want and if you want resources, and I need those resources, too bad. <laughs> You're not playing that game <laughs> right now. I'm busy. <laughs> it's like, oh, so annoying. So I got myself a second hard drive so that the the games could be on their own hard drive, which freed up a lot of space. Actually, it was pretty damn good. Uh, and then eventually I got to the RAM, which I had 8 gigabytes of RAM at the time. And it was just not... It was just not enough anymore, you know, for a lot of these games. Like, 8 gigabytes is, like, the minimum. That's the minimum nowadays. Unless it's a very low RAM usage game. Uh, a lot of times you'll find that minimum's like, 8 gigabytes now. Uh, so I'm like, okay, well, I gotta find a better a better RAM. So I took my, my RAMs, uh, or my RAM sticks were, were branded as Patriots. So I went ahead and bought another set of Patriots. To get myself up to 32 to 16 gigabyte RAM cards. So, which RAM is actually RAM used to be the one thing that you'd spend the most money on. RAM is so freaking cheap nowadays. <laughs> it could almost you could almost you know you know, fully realize that joke into the real world. Um, that joke you just need to download more RAM. You could almost do that. <laughs> it's so damn cheap uh, for a lot of it. And the RAM sticks have been lasted for a few years now that I haven't had any issues with them. So I spent, uh, I think I spent like 40 bucks <laughs> for 32 gig. Uh, um, let's see that. Um, then it then it came down to my i5 was no longer good enough anymore for some of these games. Um, some of the games, and I was trying to stream at the time, so I had that. So I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, i9 was just coming out, and it's just like, man, I can't go to i9. Look how expensive this is. So I went to the, uh, I went to the i7. Um, there was a friend of mine that had the uh, i7, and he said, yeah, this is a pretty good i7, so... It's like okay. He's like, yeah, it's, it's uh, is it four hertz or whatever? I, I don't remember <laughs> what it, what it is. I have to look at it. But yeah, it's like uh, it's uh, the i7, the Devil's Grand Canyon or something. Or it's like the Grand Canyon at forty seven hundred K or forty seven or is it forty eight eighty? Don't ask for it. Uh, see, I only know a lot of stuff about a PC until I need to know it, <laughs> and then I forget all the information. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's recall it. Uh, and then window, window. Um, uh, did that land in the center? It did. Okay, thought I misclicked there. Um, then it just window shut down noise. <laughs> oh, I did forget some. Uh, some stuff down there. See, can I reach it now? Okay. Not this side. Eee. Okay, that side's good. That side's good. Okay. Oh, crap. We're almost to the top. We're getting there. My stories are getting us through. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to 
of things. Yeah, it's um, been an interesting for this PC, but yeah, all the while that uh, that one hard drive, my OS drive, which it is a ten-year-old OS drive, and the uh, and the motherboard is the only thing that's left in this PC. Hell, even the PC case has been changed out. My PC case was uh, I thought it was a cool one, but uh, it actually wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't the greatest. It was one of those ones that has the has the front thing that you fold open to access the disk, um, uh, to ask, uh, access the, the disk drive. Uh, and on the front of it has three gauges, which uh, I found out were extremely, extremely cheap and weren't accurate whatsoever. <laughs> They're more of a novelty, really. <laughs> Just a, a cool looking thing. Um, and then it had like a little fan, a little uh, case fan, um, little case fan controller on the top of it that you could speed them up or slow them down. Yeah, it was like silver with like blue lighting in it. And yeah, it wasn't a good case fan because that's where the hard drives were, but the problem was there was no airflow. Um, there was no airflow from the front, so the airflow was being pulled in uh, from the side and from the bottom, which, you know, isn't really that big of a deal unless you do not have the cleanest environment. Like if you have animals, pets, anything like that, pulling in from the bottom is one of the worst things you can have um, because it'll pull that air in from the bottom underneath it and then it'll, it'll suck in dirt and stuff because dirt, you know, obviously falls because it's heavier than air, so it falls to the ground. Same with the hair and stuff like that. And it, get sucked up underneath the PC case. Because <laughs> I have two cats. Yes, I have to clean my PC quite often. <laughs> it gets a lot of cat hair in it. It just happens. Nothing you can really do about it unless you put, like, screens on the... Uh, this one now, this one has a, a front flow, or a front... It pulls in air from the side and from the front instead. Um... It's just generally better for, for uh, airflow, so keeps everything cooler. The only problem is obviously the uh, case fans are cheap. Um, but I found I've, I I do have a way of uh, keeping my case fans lasting longer. If you ever have case fans that get locked up or whatever, like the cheap ones, you get locked up. If you take a little bit of. Uh, uh, if you take a little bit of uh, bearing grease and you you put a little bit on your finger and when you have the fan apart and you put it on that uh, little shaft there and kind of grease up right there in the center just just a tad just a tiny bit is all you need um, and then put it back together it, it spins faster uh, than it would it would naturally <laughs> I mean it, it's a it's it, it the, the grease works really well so <laughs> uh, and then yeah just put a just put a bit of tape of it to a bit of tape over it to hold the, the little rubber plug in there because obviously you got a little bit of grease on there it's going to try and slide out so <laughs> it is what it is uh, yeah and that worked out pretty darn well all my fans spin pretty damn nicely that has lasted a long time it's uh, basically what it is is that the eventually over time the grease inside the fan just fills up with dirt uh, it just gets dirt particles in it, and eventually it just it gets too much for the fan to be able to spin. You know, there's too much friction there, so it gets hot, and then it kind of uh, it kind of locks up, or it spins extremely slowly. Uh, just depends on what state you find it in, but the, the, it can be repaired. So because I don't, you know, obviously I don't have the money <laughs> to spend on expensive case fans. Hey, look, we got to the top of the tower. Holy crap. Uh, I'm going to bring this over here. So I can jump on it. I'm going to bring this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to bring this to the edge. Uh, over on this side to the edge where I want, it to, con where I want that to connect to. Because it's going to be... Uh, if it can reach over here, it's going to be one long piece. Just one long piece of track. Okay, so that's... Actually, can I go one more? Nah. No, well, actually, I, I probably could. 
That probably would look alright. I got an idea. I'm gonna go two out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a foundation, we're gonna do a two meter. Like this. And then we're going to do this. Upside down. Like that. I'll kind of stretch it just a little bit. Yeah. Probably go over here and hop on. There we go. Okay. And then I want to pull this piece here. Pull it out to here. We'll have the connecting point right here. So now we got that sorted. We should hopefully... I don't know if it's going to reach. It's going to be close, though. Ah, it ain't going to reach. Dang it. I have to go out further. So how can we do this? If we stand over here, we might be able to kind of figure it out. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. trying to think. So if we put a four meter piece here and put a four meter piece here like that we'll get ourselves an upside down one. Then we get rid of this. We go four meters and then we go two meter, two meter. How does that get us there? We go two meter and then we can go one meter. Um, upside down one meter. Like that. And then that would be the end. That's, that's really hanging off of there, though. We should go back one. If we have to, we'll expand out, but yeah, this is like, this is pushing it as far as what looks like structural integrity. That's definitely pushing it. And in fact, we could probably, um, uh, we could probably make it look a little more structurally, a little more structural. And do like the yeah, like that, exactly. Oh, I can't zoop it? Oh, it's... Oh, there we go. Like this. And then we go like this. I might even change out that, that 4 meter for a concrete. that. I don't know, though. I really could use, like, some two meters and things of the, uh, of the framework. There we go. What? Stupid alt? I never even pressed alt. What are you talking about, game? What you talking about, fool? If we have like a frame right there. Oh, ugh, really? <laughs> what the heck? I went to delete it and it's like, nope, wrong one. It's like, oh. Yeah, this will be lighter as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this piece right here with the concrete. This is just to make it... Um, to make it work. And then... Foundations... 
it upside down. I have to do this. We can delete this, maybe, and then do this. Do the one meter here. Oh, but then the four meter doesn't work. Okay, hold on. We'll get rid of all this. Just for a second. Four meters already there. Maybe we should. Oh, we can't. Then. I was like, yeah, maybe we should like. It was on Zoop already, but it's not. Oh, I forgot about that. Whoops. Let's, uh, let's fix that real quick. Get out of here. So is it three? Yeah, three and then... Upside down four. Pull it out of the mountain. And then our texture this thing. Yeah. And then we just do this. It's got a structure to it, and then I'm going to do this as well. Um, set down four. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, gives it a little bit of a, a thing. What I can, I don't know if it'll work though. It's like what we could also do is do this. Kinda gives it a structural look. If only they stuck out a little further, that'd be nice. We could do it like this too. Oh wait, that didn't do. That didn't do anything. <laughs> My beams. We'll put these back. Oh, did you hear that like sound? Frame wall, frame wall, frame wall, frame wall. Yeah, I guess I didn't have it correct. It's okay. Oh, you know, we could make it all frame. And then have it tie into the... Get rid of this. Yeah, that would work better anyway. So I'm, I'm just getting rid of the uh, the uh, the framing there, and it's unfortunately you have to kind of uh, get rid of the concrete first. We get rid of this, and then we put this here instead. Yeah, 
that ties it in. And then that that makes it look better. I I think. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Now we can go up here. And then this will just be framework instead. Uh, hopefully it still works like foundations. If not, I can put a foundation in there temporarily and then delete it. Uh, I think what I'm... <laughs> Look down. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. I'm just going to put this over here. Yeah, I'm just going to... So it's going to end up here then. And now can this reach? Hey, it can reach. What if I could put it one back? Just curious here. Or put a half a foundation backwards, I mean. Oh, no, it has to be. Well, we can move it. I don't want it to be right on the edge, because I'm going to put a, a signal there. Um, what we can do is we can back it up one. Okay, and that still works. kind of pulls it weirdly to the left. I suppose it don't matter. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to put um, I wanted to put uh, some block signals right here. This is going to be a dual rail, so yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we can go ahead and Here. And get rid of all these. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now we're gonna have to do something weird here, but uh, it's gonna be interesting. I suppose what we could do is, uh, this can go a little bit further, maybe, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to try and get this to look supported, because yeah, in my opinion, the rail, like, if a train was to try and cross this, it'd be, it'd be insane. <laughs> it'd be like, no, that's not happening. Definitely not happening. We got the rail connected. Um, that should have uh, gave power to our miners as well. Um, clear over here. Which will be nice. Yeah, that signal's kind of... Signal's like kind of way out there, but yeah, we'll just leave it as a big block. Yeah, look at our miners go. Miners have got power. Are these overclocked? That one is... And what about this one? That one is also... Okay. So these are both overclocked, and now they're going to start fin uh, filling those stations. Um, with the stuff. I also did... Um, not in between these two episodes, but when I was messing with the rails over here, I also did go to each one of these stations. Um, to the proper ones, and I set them to unload. Because I knew I'd forget later, and I even forgot to tell you, so... Yeah, that proves that. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a really nice, um, a really nice platform over here, right above this lake. Uh, too bad for the uh, poor animals over there. I really don't care though. <laughs> yeah, now we have power. We have power. Sweet. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how, to, how I'm going to make that look supported later. I, I'm not exactly sure. Like, um, we could we could try um, off the end here. We could try like a suspension bridge style. I just don't I don't know how well that'll work though. 
And then over here we have, like, I'll make this a little bit taller, and then I'll suspension. I'll do a suspension bridge on this. What would have been nice is if it, if it stayed straight. Which we might do. We might, and then remove the foundations underneath it. Yeah. And I might do, like, a, a sort of a, a suspension bridge style. Um, we'll put a we'll put a tower on this, and we'll put a tower um, around this track here, uh, and we'll get this straightened up. I, I want this to be straight until it comes to about here. Um, that way, it just has a little curve to to go. Um, just because of the uh, for some reason it just, it decided to curve past the point of connection and then bring it on back which is a little bit weird but yeah we'll use some uh we'll use some some clever tactics maybe i don't know we'll see uh, see there's that uh we can go ahead and um grab ourselves the one quartz train that we have down here um this one can start delivering quartz again if it wants I suppose it can't, but because we do have another train on there. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and we have a quartz train up there that has nothing in it, and we have a quartz train down here. <laughs> you know, what? screw it. I'm tired of walking around and around and around. Whee! Ooh, my knees. <sighs> Delicious health. Okay. But yeah, see, I, I made a little turn to go into this station here, even though it doesn't need it. But just so you can, just so you can come out the other end and, and uh, actually get the train to turn around without having to go back into the city and then come back. So now if we back this up. Yeah, this was our original quartz train. It's still got a load of quartz on it, so... Go ahead and make her turn around here. Gotta hurry up before the, uh... <laughs> before the copper train gets back. Go left. Easiest chips. Oh, <laughs> now I'm just going in circles. Whoops, I forgot to switch to the other one. Hurry up, Turner. Take it, go. <laughs> Whoopsie. Let's go around in circles, shall we? This time I'll switch it. There we go. <laughs> I'll lay this spiral. It's crazy. I'm gonna get, don't worry, it's not gonna, this is not the finished product. As well. Okay, so now we're on the longest block in train history. No, we're losing a lot of speed. Oh man, how, how slow are these trains going to be going up this thing? Fifty-one kilometers. We're going to hit fifty kilometers. We're slowing down. It does have a little bit of up and down to it, but it's not... It's not anywhere near as bad. Like if we were to do like half a meter lift, that would probably that would probably fix it. But it'd have to be like I'd have to rotate all of the ramps. And I think this is this is just fine. You can see that little bit of lift to it, but it's almost perfect. Just 51 kilometers, that's the... We are loaded fully as well as uh, we are limited in the amount of power we're allowed to take up. Uh, because these do have a limit on them. <laughs> we still have not reached the top yet. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Insane. Insane. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're still going. Still going. Holy crap, dude. Getting there. Anybody dizzy yet? I'm gonna go down this at max speed and see what kind of speed we can get out of the thing. Still going. <laughs> uh, if I had that mod, the train elevator mod. The only problem with the train elevator mod, I think, is it's very limited on the, the, the length of the train. And around and round and round we go. We're almost to the top though, finally. 51 kilometers, you know, five hours later. Woof! You can't even see that end of, oh, there's the end. Oh, we gotta be careful here, we might have a crash. I can't save. Just as long as we stay, we're fine. Um, I think there's a there's a problem with one of my mods, and when it comes to rain, um, I think it's what the issue is. Oh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Hold on. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Let me back up. Yeah, the. Um, this way is not the proper way to go. Um, this way goes... Th this should be a one-way track, to be honest. I'd back her up. Forward! I'm just gonna spam right. Spam right. There we go. Yeah, this is the proper way to go through this. If you're trying to get back to the station. And then we go left here. Yeah. I made this kind of unnecessarily complicated. We want to spam right until we get to the last switch, which we want to go left. Yeah. Now we're correct. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this train because it's not needed. I don't even know why I put it in here, to be honest. Uh, do I have the space to do that? I think I do. I'm hoping I do. Yep, I do. Okay. That train's no longer. That train's not needed. Gotta be careful here. As well, we could lock up. I've noticed that every time I've crashed, it's always been while it was raining. So something isn't agreeing with something. <laughs> I think it has to do with the foundations, because every time I've crashed, it's also it's been raining, but also... Um, I have been uh, messing, I was messing around with foundations at the time. Um, like I was either placing them or removing them or changing the material on them. And that caused the, uh, that caused the freeze. So, eh. So hopefully we'll be okay. Now we just did have an autosave, but that's a dangerous autosave. It's a very dangerous autosave. And then now we return. All right, let's see how fast we can go. We're fully loaded, so we should be able to hopefully be able to pick up some speed. We'll be limited on the, the straightaways, the flat, but as soon as we start going downhill, the limits are removed because I'm driving it. <laughs> the AI will hold on to the brakes the entire time. Okay, here we go. How, how fast are we going to go? 
Oh, is it really not going to let me? Oh. Also. It's let me before. Well, maybe it's because of the curve. Maybe the train just can't pick up speed because of the curve. Like, we are going downhill, sure, but the, I, the, the curve is just causing issues. Okay, I'll just let her go. I'm not even holding the, the forward anywhere. Uh, this is the uh, quartz station. We're going to edit the timetable. Um, I need the station 23. Did I not, not label one of them up there? I might not have. Uh, the quartz hub station outbound A. And... Well, can I move this? Yeah, I want to move that down. And then the quartz station. Save changes. Turn on self-driving. 80 kilometers is supposed to be the max speed. I think. But yeah, um, everything's looking pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. We have uh, we have made the spiral work. I think next time we'll uh, we'll do some detail on it. We'll do some detail work, and we might be moving out. Uh, uh, that'll be next week because today's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, today's the Friday episode. So yeah, I guess next week we'll be uh, moving on out to. Oh, is this gonna go right? It is, it's gonna turn it, it's gonna use the, yep, here we go, look at that, beautiful. Well, now turn around in your station. It's gonna go left now. Yep. Sweet. But, uh, yeah, um, seeing as this is the end of the episode, uh, like I said again, um, I do have a friend that is, uh, in a wee bit of, uh, trouble. <laughs> I don't mean to mitigate it, but, uh, yeah, in a, in a bit of bother, and does need your help so if you uh, are feeling generous and would like to help them out again the link is down in the description uh, for their uh, for their page for you to uh, donate to them they're just asking for a bit of help uh, for the month because they have been running into a lot of issues recently and, and whatnot so yeah if you'd like to help that the link is down there but uh, that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory um, so I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, when we, uh, where next week even, when we go out and start putting up some of those other stations, start getting some rails down, uh, some true rails down, and start actually collecting the proper resources and stuff like that. Uh, we'll be able to get to that soon, but, uh, yeah. Until then, I guess it's a goodbye.